Hello everybody, Peter of England here bringing you a video today on a situation in the United States concerning the United States national debt. Um, it's got military overtones, it's got the Federal Reserve, the IRS, it has the military junta who are in control of the United States involved in this scenario. It has um, Q involved in, and it has um, obviously the Trump administration and the agenda for the changing of the world and the making uh, America great again campaign. Um, it is not... Uh, it isn't news to anyone in the United States that the national debt is way, way out of control and beyond all possibility of being repaid. Uh, if you go onto a site called US Debt Clock, uh, that will actually show uh, a second by second, minute by minute representation of the amount of debt and in what sectors this debt is, has been incurred uh, in the United States. And in fact, it will show any country in the world their, their national debt. And what we find in the United States is it's fast approaching the figure of 22 trillion. 22 trillion United States dollars. How much is 1 trillion? A very good question. One trillion. So let's look at the supposed birth of Jesus Christ in zero AD, let's say. And if we then fast forwarded to today, 2019, uh, beginning of February 2019, if in that entire period, in that 2019 year span, if you had pay, uh, spent, sorry, if you'd have spent one million pounds every single day, seven days a week, 365 days in every year, and in all those years, you would not have even spent one trillion. So this gives a very, very good indication indeed as to the extent of the extravagance and the extent of the United States national debt. Uh, that national debt comes in at around about 68 to 69,000 for every single individual living in the United States. A staggering amount of money. Now, as this national debt can never ever be repaid, um, there are a series of considerations that have come to my attention over the last, uh, last few weeks, uh, actually a few months ago, but I haven't done a video on it until now because I've been trying to research some more of the background issues. Uh, as many of you are aware, those who follow Q, who follow the Trump uh, uh, controversy, uh, are probably aware that in 2015, there was a proposal by a certain number of uh, military personnel to the Obama administration that uh, certain announcements and certain changes of direction within the Obama government and the government of the United States generally had to be uh, undertaken. And uh, our uh, Barack Hussein, uh, the renegade uh, Obama, refused this, um, this offer and decided that he was probably better suited to carry on in the way that he had been for the previous two election terms and carry on with the betrayal of the people of the United States uh, and the betrayal of the people um, of the world generally. So um, a decision was then taken by the military, um, Joint Chiefs of Staff, to find somebody who would help in the propagation of the, the, the change, the, the, the leap or the jump forward. Now, obviously, that was going to entail lots of uh, things, both militarily, financially, socially, culturally, and a whole lot of other um, aspects of, of societal reform. But one of the major uh, things that have been spoken about from, for many, many years now is the impending possibility or prospect of a, a global jubilee on on world debt, uh, economic reform, and other ways of debt forgiveness. Um, but the one thing for sure is that the IMF, the World Bank, the Federal Reserve have created a, a money dark hole of such proportions now, it is absolutely impossible for that debt to be eradicated by the normal working uh, methodology of uh, taxation and work effort to, to repay debt. So it never can materialise. What has always been done in the past by the Rothschilds 
uh, is a, a system of, um, shall we say, electrical conductance and comp capacitance, whereby the, the debt as a negative capacitance is reduced out of a circuit by a shorting. And the shorting of that circuit is a commonly referred to as a war. And this is what they have done. They have managed to formulate the electrical circuitry analogy onto the way that the human beings on the planet Earth run their lives or look after their day-to-day their, their -day existence in an energetic or calorific way and represented that with a form of electrical circuitry actions which, when followed, produce verifiable, repeatable and unquestionably scientifically um, programmable results. So this is the, the AI behind the, 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 the global narrative or the global globalist agenda, which is part of your, your daily uh, depression pill. So what come to my uh, notice fairly, fairly recently was a series of, um, of, of videos, but one of the most, uh, one of the most important one was, I think it was on a, 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 a channel called US, usawatchdog.com. It was by a um, Dr. Mark Skidmore. And it comes under the title, um, I'll just read the, the title for you, just for those who want to put this into, uh, into you, YouTube. The title of the video is Dr. Mark Skidmore, Deep State Cover-Up of Missing 21 Trillion Deeply Disturbing. Now, um, Dr. Professor Skidmore, Mark Skidmore, is a professor of economics at the Michigan State University. He was trying to dispel um, factual contentions by a, a lady called uh, Catherine, Catherine Austin Fitz and uh, she runs a website called uh, Solari. It sounds like a, a, an ice cream lollipop, I know, but that's uh, S-O-L-A-R-I, solare.com. And if you go over uh, to that website, you will be able to find the, the documentation to support some of the, the things that I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm presenting to you now. So, in effect, what um, uh, Catherine Austin Fitz had uh, stated was that a certain amount of money um, had appeared in the Department of Defence and uh, Housing and Urban Development uh, budget in, in various periods, but we're, we're, we're concentrating this mainly onto the 2015-2016 budget, which would have tied in quite neatly with the proposition of the ultimatum being given to the renegade Hussein Obama uh, and his uh, his boyfriend Michael um, concerning um, a change of direction in the, the shall we say, the world politic. Uh, the actual report, um, for those who want to go and have a look on the Inspector General's website, is uh, is this document here. Hopefully you can see it. Um, yeah, and I will just read that to you. It's the Army General Fund Adjustments Not Adequately Documented or Supported uh, Report from 20, 2016. Uh, at the very bottom of their document, it's very interesting what they, they allege here. They say integrity, efficiency, accountability and excellence. Uh, our mission. Our mission is to provide independent, relevant and timely oversight of the Department of Defense that supports the warfighter, promotes accountability, integrity and efficiency, uh, advises the Secretary of Defense and Congress and informs the public. So what do we have here? The IG or Inspector General for the Department of Defense. Is the Department of Defense, is the United States military appointed to eventually give a get-out-of-jail card to every United States citizen consequential to the invocation of military tribunals and the closing of the Federal Reserve, the abolishment of the IRS and the possible imposition of a sales tax to compensate for that. This is where this video is going and this is where this discussion and this argument is going. So, if we actually see the uh, the Dr. Mark Skidmore 
video, it basically states that a, a series of amounts have uh, appeared uh, in the Department of Defence budget, uh, and they're described as unsupported journal voucher adjustments. That's the technical word, word for uh, amounts of money that have appeared in the budget and nobody can understand where they've come from or why. Um, just to be clear on this, usually with any accounting, uh, any international accounting procedures, whether they're the uh, GAP ones, which are called generally accepted accounting procedures, or the I, uh, the international in, uh, accounting procedures, amounts of over $15 or £15 or €20 Euros usually that cannot be accounted for, they have to go looking for the docket to get supporting evidence because you can't have money just disappearing like little pieces being nibbled off the, off the big piece of cheese. So what we found is that when Dr. Mark Skidmore went along to try and uh, um, distress Catherine Austin Fitz uh, about the contentious issues of all these amounts of money being missing uh, and appearing in the Department of Defence uh, budget, um, what, sh what he found is far from it being um, ridiculous, he actually proved and found not only factual evidence, but written evidence in the Department of uh, Defence documentation, which showed it was all there. And on page, I think it's page one of the, the briefing document, for those who want to maybe just freeze frame that and, and read it, what we find is, it says here, and these are phenomenal amounts, so don't forget that Donald Trump at the moment is asking for about seven billion to buy, to build his wall. The entire United States defense budget for 2019 is 800 billion. Hopefully, I said eight billion before. Uh, seven billion for the war. Yeah, 800 billion is the Department of Defense budget. So when you have statements like the following, uh, to paraphrase. And the Defence, Finance and Accounting Service, Indianapolis, DFAS, Indianapolis, did not adequately support the $2.8 trillion in the third quarter journal voucher and adjustments of 6.5, get this again, trillion in year-end journal voucher adjustments made to the AGF data during financial year 2015 financial statement compilation. Staggering amounts. So, my last uh, posting concerning HR 24 and 25 uh, for Congress, um, Congressional Session 116, spoke about the potential auditing of the Federal Reserve and the closing of the IRS with the imposition of a sales tax. We have a critical situation that the, uh, the world economic model is about to collapse. When this about is, nobody knows. All we know is the analogy is analogous to a woman being pregnant. We don't know the exact date of birth, but we know there is going to be a new arrival. So when that's actually going to go, I don't know. But there are movements being made in the background all the time, which suggests that things are changing. Whether hopefully we have the change for the better or whether we end up in a draconian sort of jackbooted Gestapo um, totalitarian regime, uh, who knows? We hope not. But there are pleasant moves in the background. Uh, I would suggest you go to visit solari.com. Uh, you look at the work of Catherine uh, Austin Fitz. You also look at the, the videos by Dr. Mark Skidmore. Um, you also... Uh, if you uh, if you're also interested in these type of things, don't forget that uh, the day before 9/11, uh, Donald Rumsfeld on CNN basically came out and stated that it was 2.3 trillion trillion that is not billion or million 2.3 trillion United States dollars had gone missing and they didn't know where or how to find it. Uh, so we have a, 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 a situation that is, is unsupportable and needs changing and it just may happen that the, the Q team and the military are going to step in and provide 
as I assert a double entry bookkeeping adjustment to offset the Federal Reserve's created and the United States Department of Treasury 21 trillion, which is sitting on the national debt clock side of the ledger. And what they're going to do is use the 21 trillion on their accounting to act as an antidote, to neutralize the toxic debt with the fiat currency that they've sequestrated or they've partitioned and put to one side in the Department of Defense budget. So that's the good news, that the patriotic military, the Joint Chiefs of Staff, the Department of Defense, the Paymaster General are your ticket to freedom. And I would suggest all those good Americans out there, all the veterans out there, if you have any problems with your, um, your credit cards, your mortgages, uh, your vehicle payments or any other debts, generally speaking, what I would do is I would write on your checks, I would write on your money orders that the Paymaster General for the Department of Defense is to take care of those payments. Clear off your credit cards, clear off your mortgages, get your medical treatment, your medical bills paid for by signing them off and putting down as the, the payor the Department of Defense, the Paymaster General. So that's the way I see things going. If the Q team are what they say they are, if the Trump administration says it is what it is, there could be no contentious issue on you now asking them to put their money dollars where their mouths are and forget the politicking, forget the the jam tomorrow scenario where the Pfizer report will be released tomorrow or Comey or Rosenstein will get jailed in the future. It's all supposition. So let's start taking action now in a way that you can prepare the way for a realistic change in, in the way that the politic works in the United States, which then will be a caddo or a gift or a presentment for other people in the world to follow, particularly those in the United Kingdom and in Europe, so that we can see that the people can change, the scenario can change, the narrative can change, and uh, everything else alongside it. Just so that you know, the Department of Defense did take those documents down initially after Dr. Mark Skidmore had gone looking for them, but, uh, and found them in fact, but what all the links were severed and, and, and hidden, but Luckily, they downloaded all of the links, and you can find those um, if you just go to the Solari, so S-O-L-A-R-I dot com website, and in the little search box at the front, just type in missing money, and that will take you straight to the backup and data files for the Department of Defense and the HUD, the HUD site, and those are what's called, again, unsupported journal voucher adjustments. So please go and uh, look at that. That's probably one of the most interesting things. So just to, to recap, this is what my contention would be if the Q people are listening to this video, if the Trump administration are listening to the video, it's time, as they say, uh, either take a piss or get off the pot. Let's show the people what can be done, what should be done, and let's begin by eradicating this national debt. There is more than enough in your in your uh, accounts to pay off the national debt of all the people in the United States. And if this is going to be something that the military should do, they can do. And whether they do it in three years time or whether they start it now, uh, why the wait? There is no point in waiting. It is only to the advantage of your enemy if you if you sit on your uh, if you sit on your stools and do nothing so that's what i would suggest so uh, hopefully this has covered a, a lot of these points please like the 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 video press the bell or subscribe or whatever you you'd like to do more importantly though than anything please pass the video on 
and I'm, I, I'm sorry that this one for the people in Europe and the people listening to this in the United Kingdom, that this seems a little bit sort of um, uh, irrelevant to you. Um, I make no apologies to the people in America at all because this is something that is, is very pertinent and very poignant for you. Um, we need to be making sure that the Pelosi's, the Adam Schiff's, the Schumer's, the Blumenthal's, uh, the John Brennan's, the Comey's, the Rosenstein crew, we, uh, obviously the Clinton's uh, needs not to be mentioned, and the Obama uh, uh, crews are all rounded up and are read the riot act, uh, sent to where they need to be sent to. But in the meantime, while that is happening, the people of the United States in petitioning the Paymaster General and the Department of Defense and all you veterans out there, what I would say is get yourself sorted out, get yourself in nice apartments and good accommodation, make sure that your bills are paid for, make sure your credit cards are clear and start helping others less fortunate than yourself with these, these moral and true socialist agendas of helping others to help themselves. You can do it. It's a very good thing to, to get involved in now. So let's take some action. Uh, get yourself together in groups and let's start paying down the debt by engaging the United States military, probably obviously the best and most powerful uh, military unit on the planet, to help you to help them to clear up the planet and empty the swamp. OK, thank you very much for listening. Um, and uh, three videos have been done today and uh, I hope you like them and appreciate them. Thank you.